Hello, and welcome to Nicole's Test Kitchen Steam Edition. Hope you're all having a wonderful Wednesday. It's a beautiful day here in Willits, California. And today, we're gonna get messy. Um, today's project is coming from the Ultimate Book of Kid Concoctions by John Thomas and Danita Pagel. And we are going to be making bathtub finger paints. So we just need a couple of ingredients, of course, which are listed in the description. We need some clear um, dishwashing soap and cornstarch. And then, of course, some food coloring to make wonderful colors for our finger paints. And what we, um, the amount we'll need is one third of a cup of the dishwashing liquid, and then a tablespoon of cornstarch. So let's get started. So not only are these finger paints fun to use and create beautiful creations, but if you're using them in your bathtub, you'll be cleaning too because of the dish soap. All right, my one third of a cup of dish soap. And I believe they're using clear because of course we're adding food coloring to make the color. I'm not sure if it makes a difference if you're using dish liquid that you know, has a color to it. You may just have to add more um, of the food coloring to counteract that color. And now I'll be adding the one tablespoon of um, cornstarch. Get that all in there. And then I'm gonna mix this together. Thoroughly mix it in so everything is all blended nicely. Kind of get a sort of a pasty looking concoction. Stir, stir, stir. And then before you add the color, I'm not actually gonna separate it out. And I'm using a ice cube tray so I have uh, make uh, several different colors. Of course, you can use any type of container that you'd like. So it's thoroughly mixed in. Kind of a thick battery type liquid or batter type liquid, not battery. All right, so I'm gonna, so now I'm gonna pour it into my ice cube tray. I probably can get a, you know, a couple, maybe six. I'm not gonna fill it too full. Just gonna do five, I think. Make sure I get it all out of here. And of course, if you want to make more, you just make more. All right, and then you add your colors. So I'm using um, this kind of a gel color set. 
it's pretty concentrated so I only probably will need about a drop of each because I in my test I put a little a few extra drops in some of the colors were and um, with these I um, since they're you know custom colors and not you know basic I don't actually mix them because I tried mixing them and they just kind of turn a muddy color so I am just using these colors by themselves now if you have you know the other regular food coloring that you um, that's non gel those are good for mixing to make different colors Anything left of this one? I don't see. I'll have to try a different color. The hard thing with these is that they're so dark you can't really tell if. Let's try pink. If there's any in there. Oops. Well, that one's going to be a really dark pink. So then I have some craft sticks to stir my different colors so yeah one drop of this red it's so red very bright it's kind of an orangey red mix 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 so I'm just gonna mix these up and then we'll try it out on paper Again, these are called bathtub finger paints. So the idea is that you can use them in your bathtub, but you can use them on anything you want. Well, maybe not your walls, although they should clean up quite nicely. But on a paper, and if you like feeling goopy things in your, with your fingers, it does really give a really nice sensation. All right, so here are my five colors. If you can see, pretty bright, huh? So let's test them out. You'll notice I am wearing gloves. All right, so let's test out the different colors. So I'm gonna be silly and do two at once. Get a nice big blob, my fingers, and just paint. And let's see, two different other fingers and paint. Now on paper or in your bathtub, that's when you might want to try mixing the colors together to see what comes out. And it goes on nice and smooth. Really fun to do. So these are the colors. And let's see. Mix some yellow and orange. Kind of looks like mustard. And that is bathtub finger paints very easy to do at home have ingredients in your house and then have a lots of fun thank you for joining me on this nicole's test kitchen steam edition i will see you again soon have a good day
Now I have to take off my gloves first before I try to end this video. I do not want to get finger paints on my iPad. All right. <laughs> 